What is up guys, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. I wanted to discuss today uh, long HDMI runs. So um, there's a few different ways you can do it, um, depending on the length that you're trying to go. Um, anything over 50 feet, I say just scratch using a traditional HDMI cable, even um, active or powered HDMI cables, just because I ran into so many issues. So. Um, as a professional installer, we've just learned over the years what works and what doesn't, what's going to create a service call, and what's going to keep us running a uh, profitable business. So, as you can see here, I have a binary 4K HDR extender, also known as a Balin. And this particular model has a few key features um, that I wanted to discuss with you today. 4K at 60 frames per second. It also has 4x4x4, the full color spectrum of 4K HDR. It has 18 gigabits per second, which is your fastest speed that you can get with HDMI at the moment. Um, it also is power over ethernet. Um, so what that basically means is that on the transmitter side, we have a power supply right here. And then the receiver, which is really nice, doesn't need a power supply. This is new, this started about maybe two years ago. Um, basically just giving you the ability to s seamlessly just slip this guy right behind the TV and not have anything else other than the HDMI going right into it. And with a Balin, uh, you have uh, basically a couple different pieces. You have the uh, receiver and you have the transmitter. HDMI uh, comes in and there's cat cable in between the two and then HDMI goes out. It's a pretty simple concept, but I just wanted to make sure to explain that to you um, so that you fully understand the way that the uh, Balins work. And then it's really cool because on the back they even have the different dip, uh, switch settings as well as the punch down for the cat connection so that you can decide which way you're going with. You can see that they recommend uh, going with wiring schedule B, which is pretty typical for residential. Two-way IR. Uh, Two-way IR is very nice for controlling devices. Uh, basically, you can send the IR either direction. You could have, you know, a universal remote that um, is firing, you know, to your devices that are in a closet, like what we're doing here. Everything's up in the theater room, but we're going to be controlling, um, or we're going to be down in the uh, first floor using the patio TV. So basically, we're going to send that signal to the devices through the. Uh, IR that's inside of the Balin, basically it's sending the signal through the CAT6 cable back to our main home run. So anytime you're doing long distance, these can actually run up to, depending on what quality um, you're, you're looking to transmit, I would say 100 to 300 feet um, at 4K. It depends on you know the further distance you go, the lower um, quality it's going to transmit. But um, anywhere between 100 to 180 feet, you're definitely golden. So Balins are the way to go uh, for long runs. And anything under 50 feet, use an HDMI because it's a lot more affordable. These can run all the way up to 700 bucks, uh, depending even 900, depending on the quality that you're looking for. Um, and they do support Cat5 as well as Cat6 and the different versions of that. Now, if you guys would like to purchase a Valent from us um, or HDMIs or anything else you need for your home theater, just give us a call or shoot us an email. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you like these videos and find them informative, and subscribe down below for more. This is Zach with your Media Home Theater. Thanks for watching.